here we have cranium of a uh, of an individual that we have recovered in a Mesolithic site. This is around 7,000 years old. The, uh, you can see here the, the face of the individual and here the fragment of the cranium and the mandible that is complete and also some vertebras and a fragment of pelvis. Well, the most important thing of this and the most remarkable find of this uh, discover, it has been to identify that this was a female. And we have known this because we have identified a landmark here in the mandible that tell us that is typical in females. This face belongs to a woman. It could be around 35, 40 years old. So here we have, we are analyzing at the moment several bones that they were found with this uh, human uh, cranium. And we know that they were hunting red deer, roe deer, and wild boar. And this was in a cave located in Asturias. So archaeology is the study of animal bones recovered in archaeological sites is help us to understand the diet and the strategy of subsistence that uh, past hominins carry out. In, for example, in these sites, we have several bones uh, recovered in a Serbian site. All these bones are the results of the garbage left by our own ancestors. This is people like us, homo sapiens, that live in caves around 25, 24,000 years ago. They were hunter-gatherers. This bone is a humerus of a um, wild cow that was hunting by that uh, hominins. And we can identify several cat marks that they were produced for defleshing and dismembering the animal. And after that, it was broken to consume the marrow that is inside of the bones. And this database has been created especially to analyze this Serbian site. The results I get is, it, it let me know what kind of animal species are represented in the site what anatomical parts of these animals uh, uh, the hunters brought to the cave. And also it let me know what kind of um, individuals, if they were juveniles, adult or seniles individuals they were hunted. My uh, project is focused on the causes behind the Neanderthals extinction and the appearance of modern humans into the continent by analyzing Faunal assemblage. So I choose Serbia because the Balkans are located in the uh, gateway of um, Europe. Serbia is very important because it's, uh, there are two routes for explaining the dispersals of modern, re modern humans into Europe from the Near East around 40,000 years ago. One is the Danube Valley and the other one is along the Mediterranean coast. And Serbia is at the beginning of these two migration routes. So it's important to know what's happened here in this transitional period that is so important for human evolution.